All right, uh, putting this video together real quick for those of you that want to um, fix up any sort of air leaks, oil leaks, or oral dribbling out of your crankcase ventilation system on the OM606 for the Mercedes. Um, main reason I'm making this video is because these fittings were so darn hard to find. In particular, this one right here. I'm going to put the part numbers in the description as well as where I finally found them, a uh, Mercedes dealership, which was uh, uh, very reasonable. I think it was uh, I think $24 for all three, shipping included. Um, you'll find that some of these are, are almost that much just for just for the one on eBay. So, um, and one of the things you might notice, you'll see oil dribbling down the side of your valve cover over here, hitting your exhaust, makes it a little, a little stinky and whatnot. So, um, I'm going to save the formalities of taking the, six, the eight bolts off the top of the cover. Obviously, anybody that's going in this far can figure that out, just the eight bolts off the top. And then you've got the, uh, the, the two 10 millimeter bolts holding this uh, little baffle down. The one thing I'm going to caution you is, uh, ran into it a little bit myself, when taking this, these, these, uh, these fittings get very, very hard and very brittle. As a matter of fact, the, the front one over here was so brittle. That it, I thought it was plastic, so when I you know pulled, there was really no way to remove it other than uh, snapping it off of there, and uh, I temporarily fashioned one out of PVC, you know, molded it with a heat gun so it would fit for the time being until I found what I needed. Um, the other one to be careful of is this one over here goes down into the valve cover. Um, when you're pulling that apart, or when you're removing that, you're probably going to have to pull it apart. Um, Mine actually did, and and I and I and I heard the the, uh, the horror stories about that. And mine actually did. When I, as I was pulling it apart, it fell down in. Now, luckily, there it, it's relatively you know accessible with a coat hanger and whatnot. I got it out of there. But what I'd suggest is you uh, maybe break apart the top half, and with some sort of a knife or something, sort of uh, cut the cut the circle so that you can pull it up and out so that it doesn't fall in there. That's uh, that's one of the things that I caution you when putting this back together. So uh, again, the, the new one's very pliable, as you can see, and it fit nice and snug in the hole. I pushed it in with this little uh, um, plastic crowbar, I guess you might say, in order to not damage it getting it in there. So you pop that in, um, you know, wiping off this baffle a little bit over here. Slide the baffle back in place. Uh, directional arrow over here telling you which way it breathes. Um, so I'll pop that into there. Fits nice and snug so there will not be any oil dribbling out of there. Then the tube goes next. <clears throat> uh, we'll bend in the tube. I don't remember which side goes where. I uh, don't know if it really matters, but uh, again, now here's the new, the new fitting. The, Larger end goes down to here. I guess I should have thrown that on first. The other one was, you know, barely holding on there. Uh, let's see, I didn't pay close attention to what the orientation of this was. I'm gonna go with this bend right here over on this end. Slide that into there. This was the hardest one to find. Um, I honestly thought I was going to have to get it out of Latvia, um, the only place I could find it on eBay, but then I discovered a Mercedes dealer. My local Mercedes dealer told me that they couldn't get any of these pieces anymore, that they were not available. Uh, obviously not true because I got it from an actual Mercedes dealer. i rotate that around, pry that in there. Rotate it a little bit more if I can. Pry it in. And I'm using this little plastic crowbar so that it doesn't damage the rubber. Okay, there we go. Nice fit. Slide that rubber in there. And that is so much better of a seal than it was before. Uh, this one got a kink a little. Slide it in there. And we are in. And we are together, brand new hoses. These will not leak oil all over the top of the valve cover or down the side. And that's it. Again, uh, I'll, I will put all the depart descriptions and I will also put the, uh, 
the phone number. I actually, they, they have it online, but I also, I gave them a call because I wanted to make sure that they had the parts. I'll post the phone number and the uh, website of where I got these three parts. Again, I believe the total cost was $24 with shipping. Uh, nice and new, so I've got another you know, 20 years to go on these. All right, that's it.